Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to increase the FPS in Fortnite OG. This tutorial is mostly for NVIDIA, so if you're on like Intel and AMD GPUs, click off because I'll be making separate videos on those graphics cards. And also, don't do this tutorial, it can decrease the FPS on some low end machines. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you should do to optimize your settings is go to your over to Windows settings. So, let's head over to the start menu and settings. Now, you go to system, display, and then choose advanced display. Choose the highest refresh rate you can go. Mine is 240 hertz. And just, it'll give you such a smoother motion and stuff. Just like it says. Now, you want to head out of system. Go, oh, go to gaming. Go to game mode, graphics, and then choose desktop app and browse. Head over to program files, Epic Games, for, or whatever Fortnite is stored on, and then head over to Fortnite, Fortnite game, win, binaries, Windows 64, and then you see Windows Win 64. Shipping exe. Do not click on the these other ones, and you want to click on this one. I already have it, so you want to click on options, click on high performance, and it'll be really good for your frame rates and stuff. I think I had a pretty good boost in my frames, like a little, so that should save you time. Alright, so you want to head back out of gaming and then go to game bar and turn that off if you're on Windows 10, because I don't know how to do on Windows 11, it's harder to do. But in my preferences, I like Game Bar on because I have a lot of friends on Xbox. So if you want to turn off captures, you can do that. But I don't know how to do that on Windows 11. So it's pretty They made it harder. And second, you want to head over to System again. Head over to, where is it? Oh, wait, I'm stupid. Hold on. Go to, over to startup apps and then head over and turn off like almost everything. So you have like OneDrive and stuff. I don't need any of this stuff, but just keep like anything you actually need. Like, I guess I'll turn that on. The, it just lowers your frames in the background. And we'll save Razor Cortex for later because I want to show you that next. And it is a pretty good program you can use. Now for the next step, you want to install Razor Cortex. So now you can search it up on here. It should say the download and stuff. And then it's a simple process. So, sorry, I have it. I'm not going to do the reinstall. So I'm going to open it up right here. And I'll show you what is the UI and stuff looks like. Alright, so once you're here, you want to head over to your games. Head over to Fortnite, and then click Optimize if it's not already optimized. But mine's optimized already, so you want to head over to Game Booster, and then click Boost Now. It will give you it's all the Cecil stuff, and like Cortana, it will disable that stuff. And I'm pretty sure no one uses that, so you want to head over to System Booster. System Clean basically deletes random st the stupid stuff that you don't need, and see you have like so much stuff you can be cleaning out right now for me I have like 12 gigabytes and stuff it's just so much and now you want to have defrag if you have HDD graphic um, HDD hard drives and game boost or oh, where is it or, okay hold on. platforms oh, wait. Okay, so now you're going to head back over to Game Booster, and then you want to head over to Booster Prime. And then you want to click on Boost Now, if it you haven't already boosted your frames and stuff. I mean, like, obviously that's what you're trying to do, so click Optimize on Fortnite. And whatever else games that supports Booster Prime. So... Overall, it could be a little helpful on Razor Cortex and save me a lot of my time. Alright, so now for the simple step, before we head to the NVIDIA settings, we'll head over to Discord if you have installed. 
head over to advanced hardware acceleration off. Make sure. Oh, wait, why did I stutter on hardware? I stutter too much at this point. Now you want to head over to NVIDIA settings. To the NVIDIA control panel. Wait for that to open. And you'll be greeted to this screen. Now you want to switch to let the 3D application decide if that's on default to the advanced and take me there and turn off image scaling and calculation basically some of the default stuff apostrophic filtering I don't know how to say that application controlled and then turn off anti-aliasing FXAA gamma correction on anti-aliasing application controlled let me see if that says turn that off Turn anti-aliasing setting off and basically anything anti-aliasing. Background application, basically just anything. Texture filtering on, driver default, high performance, texture filtering quality, and that's what you should be doing on there. Now, you can do whatever you want on this. Um, you can change the colors on this, make it look good, and basically play around with it until something you like shows up all right so after you're done with nvidia control panel you want to exit out of there and click yes if you haven't saved your changes now you want to head over to geforce experience and open that up head over to drivers and update them check for updates if you don't if you haven't checked your updates yet and overall you should update your drivers every time they come out because they help your your graphics card and stuff and overall give you a lot better frames when you because like if you just leave them leave the graphics card on to like default driver version is kind of your performance kind of worsens over time so you want to head over to fortnite now Click on optimize. Oh wait, never mind. Don't do that. Actually, revert that. Actually, so because it gives you like these terrible settings. And now you can head out of GeForce Experience once you update your drivers. You you have to restart your PC also. If you update your drivers, because I'd recommend that, because it can cause a little bit of problems if you don't. Alright, so after that, you want to head over to Epic Games Launcher and click on the three dots on Fortnite. And click on Options and disable cosmetic streaming off and disable anything you really don't need. Like high resolution textures if you have like a very low end PC obviously can uh, it's your choice and stuff so yeah all right so I think the next step is pretty obvious and you want to launch up Fortnite and basically lower down all the graphics settings it might look not that great in your opinion but in my opinion it looks better in epic settings so don't be a fan of my opinion Alright, so once you're in Fortnite, you want to head over to your settings and make sure it's on full screen. Mess around with this. And per personally, full screen gives me the most FPS, but it may not look as good if you're on like window full screen and stuff. So, and it may be sacrificing for the frames, but you want to turn this to the your native resolution. If you want to try stretch resolution, that gives you more FPS, but I prefer my normal resolution so I can. And then, in my opinion, stretch looks kind of weird. Turn off VSync and turn the frame rate limit to your your res I mean, your monitor's refresh rate, and you can check that by doing this um, step one again. Turn every view distance near. In my I like medium because I want to see a little bit farther. Texture low and message meshes on low. <coughs> Sorry about that. And show FPS on and basically all that. Turn on to performance mode. 
if you want the highest FPS, DirectX 11 is also good if you have a more higher end PC. And DirectX 12, is, I don't see much of a difference other than ray tracing. So, I'm gonna exit out there, head over to the task manager, and go to click, right click on Fortnite, go to details, and head over to the blue. Set priority high to affinity and so the CPU zero. And I mean, you want to uncheck CPU zero because that's like a random core. Wait, I did not know I have four cores. And you want to exit out there. And that's basically it for this video. So thank you for watching. And bye. I hope this video can get at least 10 views because my views have been dropping a lot.